So, the federal government is miffed about why it is that a higher percentage of black people are getting COVID-19. They're doing a study to try to understand why in the world this is happening. I don't know how much money this study is going to cost, but if they took that money and gave each of us a couple of hundred bucks who know this, we would all be better off. One, where we live. Now, there are a handful of African-Americans who are doing okay, better than okay. They do videos about themselves in Louvre. But many of us live in apartments, live in New York-like situations, which make social distancing almost impossible if you ever go outside your door for anything because we're stacked up upon each other. Now, reason number two, we largely don't have health care proportionally or very little of it. Most of us live in a uh, situation where urgent care is our hospital, is our doctor. So any other chronic or pre-existing conditions that could make this uh, virus affect us in a more serious way uh, are in full force. So if you have, and then there's the other factor, which is if you have coronavirus and you are one of those people for whom urgent care is your only, or the emergency room, more than likely, walking into the emergency room, are your only forms of health care because you can't afford COBRA and you don't have health insurance at your job, you either try to tough it out at home until conditions get too bad for you to handle it and then you get wheeled into the hospital or you can't go to the hospital to begin with and you die at home. Now, what else? Maybe the fact that a higher percentage of black people, and I'm using black people specifically, but this also applies to uh, brown people, but, I, but I'm, I'm focusing on black people right now. A higher percentage of black people work in these so-called uh, crucial industries than other so, uh, ethnic groupings. Now, as a whole, so who are your bus drivers? Who are your people cleaning up the hospital? Who are your workers at fast food places where you're getting your pickup food? Who's in the kitchen cooking? Let's go beyond black people. Who's in the laundry? Who has to go to the laundry to wash their clothes? All these factors. Who, who is most likely to have to engage with other people either in their daily functioning, their daily lives, or in the course of their work. I have the uh, fortune that I can often work remotely. But how many of us can't work remotely? How many of us on our jobs, like most jobs, the majority of jobs that I've worked for my life, that your machine is at work? You're making things at work. You're digging coal at work. You're pounding bags, cleaning airplanes at work. The production plant where you're packaging meat, you got to go in to do that. And the floors of the hospital won't come to you. These are, these are the reasons, it's the social and economic conditions that we're in that put us at the heart of any pandemic. 
and any so-called natural disaster. That's why the majority of people, a higher percentage of people who are black during Hurricane Katrina had the worst conditions because they were living in the lower parts of that city when the flooding happened. And the wealthier people, who a higher percentage of them are non-black and non-brown, lived on higher terrain. It's that simple. So, research done. Study finished. 